everyone, it is Miss Kristen from Town Hall and it is time for our virtual camp. It's our first virtual camp for the month of July. So I can't wait, hope you can't wait too. What we're doing today are some DIY projects. DIY is do it yourself. Now, I say do it yourself, but you may need some help from an adult, I'm just saying. Um, what we're going to be doing is making a phone or an iPod stand. Now, I know what some of you are probably thinking. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Miss Kristen, I'm only eight years old. I don't have a phone. But I can guess that you probably have a parent, like a mom or a dad. You might have an older brother or sister. You might have a really cool aunt. Her name might be Kristen. Um, you may have a grandparent. You may have a neighbor. You may have a best friend that has a phone or that has an iPod, right? And sometimes, let's say you um, are sitting outside and you're like, I really feel like watching something on TV or maybe you want to um, watch a YouTube video. I know some kids are allowed to do that. Um, what you can do is make one of these handy dandy phone stands that I'm gonna show you how to make and then it's hands free. Like you don't have to sit there and hold it. You can just go like this and watch your show. You don't have to do any work except listen, right? So, like I said, you might not have your very own phone and that's totally fine because my kids had to be really old before they got theirs and I'm saying 13 years old, okay? So if you are younger than 13 and you have a phone already, do not tell my children because they will be really bummed out, okay? But what you have, if you ordered a kit from us here at Town Hall, you already have a toilet paper tube. Now, if you did not order a kit, you probably have, what, a toilet paper tube in each bathroom, right? Um, if you don't have a toilet paper tube, you have a cardboard tube possibly from like maybe paper towels. So if you only have a cardboard tube from paper towels, you will need to chop it in half, okay? Chop it in half by using scissors, uh, preferably not a knife because that's probably not very safe. So you're gonna have that. Something else that you're going to have will be a template that you're gonna to have to cut out so yours is not looking like this yet but you will have a piece of paper that has some black dotted lines and you're going to cut this out this is going to be either you're gonna turn it into a dog or a cat and this was the template to do a phone holder that's going to look like a dog or a cat so you're also going to need some paint um, I don't really remember what color. I only gave a couple of colors in hopes that you would use your imagination and pick some other things. But you know, Faith might like pink and Russell might like orange and Aiden might like yellow and Cam might want polka dotted red. So since I don't really know everyone's super, super favorite color, I probably just gave maybe white, black or brown, um, maybe even just white. And then what you could do is paint your dog or cat and then you can use more paint or you could use markers to put like the face, like the nose, the eyes, all that kind of stuff. So why don't we go ahead and start with this one first. Um, so you're gonna need to get some scissors. I of course did not give you scissors. So we're going to pretend that we are cutting together. So I am going along the dotted lines, snip, 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 boom. Now, if you're doing this with a brother or a sister, you really only have to cut out one, right? And then you guys can share. Or if you don't like to share and you're like, I wanna do my own, my way or the highway, you can cut out your own, okay? Then what you're going to do is get your cardboard tube. And oh, I misprepared up here, did not bring any tape, but it might be best if you have um, tape and see the two edges here. If you tape it, what will that do? It's gonna hold it in place. So when you tape it, it's gonna hold it in place and then you can take a marker, a crayon, a colored pencil, um, probably not paint, but maybe a pencil or I think I already said pen, but we're gonna say it again, and trace, okay? So let's see here, we'll use this marker again since I'm already messy from it. But you're gonna trace your animal shape onto the cardboard tube just like so don't 
Don't you just love the sound of marker on cardboard? Some people might not. It's like the sound of like your fingernails scraping on the sidewalk or something. Ugh. And once you get it traced on there, you can tear it off. I'm just gonna slide it off because I did not tape mine on there securely. Now, if you look close, you see how I have it traced on there. So what do you think you have to do next? You have to cut it out, right? So you're gonna need to have some scissors and you want to start cutting along where you traced. Now, this is a weird shape, obviously. So you're gonna wanna go slow. And if you really are like, I don't think I can cut cardboard very well, you can ask someone to help you. But if you just go slow, take your time, it should be pretty easy, okay? So I'm, can you hear it snipping away? Snip, 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 snip. And you just keep cutting. Now what you can do while you are cutting or while someone is helping you to cut, you can start thinking what color or which, which animal you wanna make. So this, I mean, clearly doesn't have to be a dog or a cat, but I guess if you want it to be a mouse or like a, I don't know, a wombat or um, a deer, I guess, clearly it's gotta be an animal that has like ears and stuff, right? So I'm trying to do this fast because I know this is like probably really boring to watch me cut. I have no jokes today, didn't bring a joke. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, I gotta go this way to cut the second ear. And of course, my phone is being used to record this wonderful video that you'll probably watch over and over again because it is so entertaining, but here we go. Here is my cutout animal that's gonna be, like I said, a dog or a cat. Now, if you happen to watch our adventures the other day, I used a lid to a Pringles container, but I just wanna show you that your phone will fit in just like so, okay? So the ears and then the back of the cardboard tube are what prop up your phone, okay? So next, what do we need to do? We need to color this. So you can use markers, you can use crayons, you could use chalk. Now chalk is gonna keep coming off on your hands. Um, I have paint that I brought with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some paint. Um, most people probably will pour their paint onto a palette or onto a paper plate or a paper towel. But I, of course, did not bring any of that to the um, production lab today. So I'm just going to dip my paintbrush into my paint container and paint away. So, like I said, I think I only gave everybody like um, white probably, maybe brown, I don't know. But I figure you should have paints at home, hopefully, or maybe you have um, markers you can use, or like I said, crayons or colored pencils will probably work too and I am smearing my blue by accident because I traced it with that blue marker. All right, so I'm gonna need to let this dry. So we're gonna set that aside for a minute. You're probably gonna need to let yours dry as well. So what we can do next is we can move on to part two of the DIY. So part two of the DIY is a second phone stand. So that way, if you have a mom and you have a dad and they each have a phone, or you have a brother and a sister or two brothers or two sisters, or you have um, two phones, you might have maybe an old phone and a new phone, or you might have your iPod and your phone, whatever. Um, this is just another phone stand that you can make out of a cardboard tube, okay? So like I said, if you did not get the kit from me, you have to go to the bathroom until you use up all the toilet paper. Do not waste it and throw it away. Wait until you have one that's available. Same with paper towels. Don't waste your paper towels. 
which sadly I did, <laughs> but I'm keeping them to dry my hands off. Um, and then if it's a paper towel tube, you have to chop it in half. So here's a paper towel tube. Okay, next what we need to do. We need to make a slot big enough to hold our cell phones. So what you're gonna do at your house, you are going to trace your cell phone so that you know exactly how long or how wide it needs to be. My cell phone is right there, uh, videotaping this fantastic video for you right now. So I'm going to pretend that I traced it and you will need scissors or if someone is helping you, they can use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter, okay? But either way, no matter what you use, it's gonna be sharp. So you have to be super, super, super careful your adult that is helping you needs to pay close attention, like they can't be talking on the phone while they're doing this. You have to focus. Say focus, focus, a la Magocus, okay? All right, so I am using an X-Acto knife. Now I can guarantee I probably don't even have one of these at my house, so I do have the luxury of being at work and having supplies like this, but like I said, scissors work just as well. And I am or cutting out a hole big enough for my invisible cell phone. I don't even know. I always have to ask my kids. I think my cell phone is like a, a eight, maybe? Is that even a thing? I don't know. Regardless, it's kind of, I don't know, wider than most phones. Oh, and if you're anything like me, you have to be really careful because this blade just came out. I carumba. Rather than have an accident, I guess I will use my box cutter maybe. Okay, maybe I'm gonna use my scissors because that's all I need is a cut finger on film, right? I'm just trying to be quick. Look where that got me. Now, some other things that you're gonna need for this are things to decorate your um, phone holder. So, you don't have to decorate it. If this is your favorite color and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so nice, you're done after you cut out your hole, right? Or you can get some stickers. You can get some like glitter glue if you have that. If you have um, markers, if you have um, washi tape, if you have yarn, if you have, um, maybe you have like a picture of your family that you're allowed to use. You could even wrap that around it, right? So is this wide enough? Kind of. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider because I'm pretending that again, my Pringles lid is my phone. Now, you're going to also need to have, because I did not give you guys these, um, something to put on the bottom, because look, see how it's rolling around? And if you put your phone straight in here like this, it's gonna fall backwards because your phone is gonna be heavy, right? So what you need to do is put something on the bottom which will keep it from rolling around. So you could get some rocks, you could get some marbles. Um, what I did is I got some thumbtacks. Now you might not have these at home, um, but we have thumbtacks here at work. And what you can do is gently poke your thumbtack through the bottom. See that? Can you see it from that far away? So it kind of just makes it a stand for it to stand up. And then that means you'll need two more to put on this side. Now, how are you gonna decorate this? Hmm. I have, I don't even know what this is. Like, um, it feels like cloth. I'm going to glue these on here um, for fancy decoration. And I'm using a hot glue gun because that's what I have with me today. But really, a glue stick or a squeeze glue will work perfect for this. Now, like I said, if you like the way cardboard looks, you don't have to decorate this with anything at all. But if you just wanna go the extra mile and jazz it up a bit, you might wanna get something that you can decorate it with. I mean, maybe even if you have a coloring book, like you could color a picture in your coloring book and then cut that out and put it on here. And it, like I said, just decorate however you want. 
This is your craft, so it can be whatever you like. And if and when we are allowed to not be on a quarantine anymore, when we're allowed to hang out with friends, this would be something you can maybe make with your friends. You can be like, hey, I saw this really cool video by this really cool lady, and she showed me how to make these really cool phone holders or iPod holders. Like I said, I mean, who wouldn't want this? You know, like I know some kids FaceTime, um, so this, you can just prop it up and that way you're not holding your phone, right? Because I know that some people like to FaceTime maybe while they're doing chores or maybe you're quizzing someone on the phone, like during when you guys are in school, you guys could practice your math facts together. Two plus two is four. Five plus one is six. And instead of holding the phone and saying five plus one is six, two plus two is four, you can put your phone in here. Maybe you take gymnastics and you just learned how to do a cartwheel and you wanna show your grandparents how you do your cartwheel so well, but you're like, how am I gonna do a cartwheel while I hold my phone? Make one of these, right? You make one of these, put your phone in it. Remember, this is our fake phone. I have to cough, I'm sorry. <coughs> You put your fake, oh, you put your real phone in here. It props it up. Then, and I'm totally not gonna do a cartwheel right now, because that would be embarrassing, but I probably can still do one, I promise. Um, you put your phone in here, do your cartwheel, and they can see it, and it's hands-free, right? So here's another one that I did earlier. Um, where are my holes? So I can poke them back through here. But so you can see what it looks like if you decorate it with like washi tape or um, stickers. So again, the lid we're pretending is my phone. And there, it's setting up in here and I'm not holding it anymore. And now I can say, oh, I can't wait to watch my favorite show. Or, oh, look at me, look at me. Like you could do a dance routine. You could do, if you're cooking dinner, you could, have your hands-free phone and let people watch you, or if you're making a video, here's a phone stand for you. Now, I'm not sure if I talked long enough, if this is dry, kind of dry. Um, so you may want to put a second coat on if you did it white. Then what you can do is decide what you're going to turn this into. So I have a dog at home, so I'm gonna turn mine into a dog. And I'm going to put um, some eyes on it. And you can make your eyes however you want. Yeah, this is still not 100% dry for me, but you'll get the idea. And let's see here. I wanna do, I guess we'll do like a triangle nose. Oh, it's too wet there. Hopefully you'll be able to see it on camera when I show you. And then I'm gonna make mouth. Mm. Can you see that? And then, where's my fake phone? Put my fake phone back in here. And there you go. Now you have a dog or a cat or whatever kind of animal you decided to turn this into, phone holder. Look at that. Very, very cool. So hopefully this was fun for you. Hopefully this was cool for you. We're kind of recycling by using supplies that you just have at your house. Um, so I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun. Next week, um, I honestly don't remember what we're doing for a virtual camp, but it's probably going to be awesome, right? And in the meantime, if you can't wait until virtual camp on Friday, be sure to watch Mondays and Wednesdays, our adventures at 2. We're always doing something fun there also. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.